What is up guys, welcome back to the video and today we're going to be looking at some of the best female characters in GTA history. If you guys do enjoy this video then make sure to leave a like and a comment down below letting us know what you thought. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. Number 1, Lindsay Lohan. Here at we're known to be fans of Lindsay Lohan, but it turns out that Lindsay is absolutely not a fan of GTA 5. The actress sued GTA publisher Take 2 after GTA 5's release claiming the character of Lacey Joans shared too many similarities with Lohan's own troubled career. Lohan further alleged that this person, used in many promotional materials for the game, bared a striking resemblance to herself. Take 2 responded that Lohan's lawsuit amounted to nothing more than a publicity stunt and the court system ended up agreeing, ruling in the publisher's favour after a two year battle. Number 2, The Outliers, Moe Eccles and Denise Clinton Featured in GTA 5, these two women get a nod in the game's official art. Moe gives Trevor Phillips four bounties to bring back to her and Dennis Clinton is Franklin's aunt. Oddly enough, Dennis' appearance seems to be based on Denise Robinson, a character from GTA 5 San Andreas. Number 2, Misty Misty might be a minor character in Grand Theft Auto 3, Grand Theft Auto Advance, and Grand Theft Auto Vice City, but it earned her a deserved spot on the game's cover and entry screen. Compared to the designs of the other females on this list, and in the history of GTA, Misty is rather cartoonish, and barely resembles how she actually looks in game. I'm not sure why Rockstar went with this art style, but since this was the game that really capsulated the franchise, why am I to question their genius? Though she acts merely as a woman of the night in Liberty City, Misty is in a fair amount of missions to warrant her mission on the list. Number 3, Elizabeth Torres. Elizabeth Torres is one tough cookie. Unless most of the female characters in the franchise, Liz is an incredibly powerful and scary woman, who is also a successful drug dealer in the South Bohuan area of Liberty City. When she was 14 years old, she killed a man who attempted to assault her in Puerto Rico. Since then, Liz has a huge reputation and instilled fear among her rivals. After numerous drug-related arrests, she developed her drug empire sometime before 2008. Eventually, Liz is incarcerated for 300 years to life on 30 different charges. She's one tough cookie and she really stands up to the men in the series. Number 4, Maria Latore. Greedy, selfish, and narcissistic. Not quite the person you would choose as a wife. Unlike many of the females on this list, Maria Latore is actually an important character within the storyline of Grand Theft Auto titles that she's in. In Grand Theft Auto Liberty City, Maria is the main character as the wife of Don Salvatore Leone, the boss of the Leone crime family. She ended up in a rather unhappy marriage filled with infidelity and the fate of the character is up to debate. It is unknown if she was killed after the exchange and there is merely the sound of a gunshot. Perhaps Maria will return in the future titles, but begin the pessimist, she was surely killed in that altercation. Louise Cassidy Williams Louise Cassidy Williams appears as a character in Grand Theft Auto Vice City Stories, which was initially an exclusive title on the PlayStation Portable, but was later released on the PS2. She acts as Victor Vaughn's interest in the game, and unfortunately Louise is killed by Armando Mendez after she was kidnapped and shot several times. Vic and Louise have a special moment before she passed away, and her sister ends up taking care of her baby after her death. Still, that didn't stop Rockstar from creating a stylized take on the character for their official art. The pose gives off a distinct attitude like all of the Rockstar's covers. If you guys enjoyed this video, then make sure to leave a like and a comment down below and let us know what you thought. If you did enjoy, then make sure to subscribe as well because that really helps us out. I'll hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.